हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ हार्डी क्रॉस मेथड क्वेश्चन विल बी रिटर्न एज फाइंड द डिस्चार्ज थ्रू ईच पाइप इन द नेटवर्क ऑफ पाइप शोन बिलो टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इक्वल्स टू टू सो वेरियस डिस्चार्जेस इज शोन इन दैट डायग्राम दैट इज 120, 50 एंड 30 एंड वेरियस वैल्यूज ऑफ आर फॉर डिफरेंट पाइप दैट इज फॉर पाइप ए बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आर इज टू फॉर पाइप बी सी द वैल्यू ऑफ आर इज वन सिमिलरली आर इक्वल्स टू फाइव फॉर बी डी आर इक्वल्स टू वन फॉर सी डी एंड आर इक्वल्स टू फोर फॉर ए सी नाउ दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच इज गिवेन नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड ए डिस्चार्ज इन ईच पाइप दैट इज ए बी बी सी सी डी डी बी एंड ए सी नाउ वी कैन सॉल्व or we can start the solution of this numerical firstly we need to make the network of pipe here okay now the network of pipe is given like this and the naming of pipe will be like this that is a b c and d here is one inclined pipe like this okay now we just mark the discharges which is given in the question that is 100 Similarly, the outgoing water at junction B is twenty. At D junction, the outgoing water is fifty, and at C junction, the outgoing water is thirty. Now we have values of R, which will be equals to two for this pipe, R equals to one for this pipe, R equals to one for this pipe, and R equals to five for B D pipe, and R equals to four for A C pipe. Now we will do the hit and trial method, and according to which we will set the discharges in each pipe according to the water coming at each junction okay now one note is there that at each junction that at each junction the summation of water entering and leaving the junction is zero it means that the net sum of water entering and leaving the junction is zero so we will do the hit and trial in pipe ab okay at junction a the incoming water is of 100 so we had supplied 70 units of water in ab and 30 units of water in ac so the sum of outgoing water is 100 and the incoming water at junction a is also 100 so net sum at junction a is 0 similarly at junction b 70 is the incoming water and 20 is the outgoing water now how much water uh, is left for the outgoing purpose it will be 70 minus 20 so 50 units water needs to be going in the outward direction or from the outward flow from the junction d so we will do the discharges in pipe bd as 15 and remaining will be in pipe bc that will be 35 okay now the net sum of all the discharges coming at the junction b and leaving the junction b is 0 okay now at junction c the water which is coming from junction a is 30 and from junction b is 35 so the net water entering at junction c will be 65 units and 30 unit will be the outgoing water so how much amount of water will be left for the outgoing purpose 35 unit of water will be left for the outgoing purpose so we had provided the 35 units of water in the pipe cd now at junction d 15 units of water is coming from junction b and 35 is coming from junction c so the net water which will be entered at junction d will be 50 and the net water which is leaving out the junction d is also 50 so net sum at junction d will be 0 that is the hit and trial method for setting the various discharges in the pipes clear now we will see one by one each and every closed network in detail starting with the first network we had taken the two closed junctions or two closed networks like this okay like this and we will write here the name of each pipe that is a b and c similarly b c and d we will mark the discharges according to the previous diagram that is 70 in this pipe 30 in this pipe and 35 in this pipe now we will not write the discharge in pipe bc of the second diagram why i will tell you why we are not going to write the value of bc in the second diagram okay now we will just mark the direction of 
flow in BC that is like this. Okay, now in BD the water is flowing as 15 units and in CD the water is flowing as 35 units. Clear? Now we need to find here the modification factor. For modification factor value we need to find something that is we know that summation Q will be equals to what? It will be equals to RQ to the power N upon mod of summation N RQ N minus 1. Okay. Now that will be the summation Q. So if we put the value of N here, the value of N which is given in the question is 2. So the formula will becomes like this RQ square upon summation of 2 RQ. Okay. We will write it as summation of 2 RQ and this whole value will be in mod. Okay. So we need to find the value of RQ square for each pipe and summation of 2 RQ for each pipe. So we will write here pipe RQ square and 2 RQ. Similarly, we will write here pipe RQ square and 2 RQ. Clear? Now, we need to find the various values here for which we are just going to write the name of the pipe that is AB, BC and AC. Okay. Similarly, for second diagram, the pipe will be like this BC, BD and CD. Okay. So, we had just write the name that is AB, BC and AC, BD, BC and CD. Clear? Now, one sign convention is there that all the clockwise flow will be taken as positive and all the anti-clockwise flow will be taken as negative. Now, that value will be under mod. That's why we are not going to write the sign in the 2RQ portion. Clear? Now, for AB pipe, what will be the value of R? The value of R will be 2 and the discharge will be flowing as 70 in clockwise direction. So, we had just put the sign plus into 70 square okay now in pipe bc again the flow is clockwise so we just write the sign here as positive and in ac the flow is anti-clockwise so we need to write the sign here as negative similarly in pipe bc the flow is anti-clockwise so we need to uh, mention here the negative sign in bd the flow is positive because of clockwise flow that's why we had write positive sign here and in cd the sign will be negative because of anti-clockwise flow okay now the value of r for bc pipe will be equals to 1 and the discharge will be equals to 35 square okay now similarly for ac the value of r is 4 and the discharge will be equals to 30 square now what will be the sum of rq square here it will be equals to 7 4 2 5 now, we need to find the value of 2RQ for which we just write the value as 2 into 2 into 70. Similarly, 2 into 1 into 35. Similarly, 2 into 4 into 13. Now, what will be the sum of 2RQ? It will be equals to 590. Now, if we find the modification factor for first value that is summation Q, okay, or we just say it as delta Q. Now, if we want to calculate the modification factor here that is delta Q it will be equals to minus RQ square upon 2 RQ okay now we need to put the value here minus sign will be always there because it is in the formula now the value of RQ square will be equals to 7425 so we will divide the 7425 by 590 and we will get the value of modification factor as minus 13 okay now that will be the value of delta q for the first figure okay that is abc now we will write for bc bd and cd portion for bc pipe the value of r will be given as 1 and the discharge is taken as the previous discharge that is 35 square okay now for bd the value of r will be given as 5 and discharge will be given as 15 now for the next pipe that is pipe cd the value of r will be 1 and the flow will be 35 square clear now if we do the sum of all these rq squares then it will comes out as minus 1325 that will be the sum of rq square now we just write the value of 2 rq 2 into 1 into 35 
टू इंटू फाइव इंटू फिफ्टीन टू इंटू वन इंटू थर्टी फाइव नाउ इफ यू डू द सम ऑफ दिस वैल्यूज देन इट विल बी इक्वल टू टू नाइनटी नाउ इफ यू नीड टू फाइंड द डेल्टा क्यू फॉर द नेक्स्ट फिगर इट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस माइनस प्लस दैट इज वन थ्री टू फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय टू नाइनटी इट विल बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा क्यू फॉर द सेकेंड फिगर विल बी इक्वल टू प्लस फाइव ओके now we get the modification factor for both the figures now we just write it here okay all the modification factor now in pipe ab the flow is clockwise so we just write here as plus 70 similarly for pipe bc the flow is plus 35 and similarly for pipe ac the flow is minus 30 okay now what is the modification factor for first figure that is a b and c it will be equals to minus 13 so we write here as minus 13 minus 13 and minus 13 now it will be equals to 57 the flow in pipe ab will be equals to 57 okay now the flow in pipe bc will be equals to 22 Similarly, the flow in pipe AC will be equals to minus forty three. Now the value of BC will be written here like minus twenty two because in the second diagram the sign of flow in BC will be anti clockwise. That's why we had written the value here as minus twenty two. Now we have the value of all the discharges in all the pipes. Now we will just add the modification factor of the second diagram. the modification factor of second diagram will be uh, here the sign will be negative and here the sign will be positive okay now the modification factor will comes out as plus 5 so it will be equals to minus 17 similarly plus 5 so it will be equals to 30 now plus 5 it will be equals to 20 now we have the new sets of flow in each pipe that is for ab 57 for ac 43 for bc 17 similarly for cd 30 and for bd it will be equals to 20 now we will again make the original diagram that is ab cd diagram okay and we will mark all the flows in it clear now we will again make the diagram like this and new values will need to be written here we need to write the name of all the pipes that is a b c and d okay now the value of r is written here r equals to 5 r is equals to 1 r is equals to 1 r is equals to 2 and r is equals to 4 now the flow given in the question is 100 the outgoing flow from junction b will be equals to 20 from d it will be 50 and from c it will be equals to 30 okay now that will be the flow which is given in the question now we had computed the new values that is 57 in this pipe okay like that we had computed the flow in pipe ac which will be equals to 43 like this in bc we had computed the flow as 17 like this in bd we had computed the flow like this that is 20 and similarly in pipe cd the flow is taken as 30 now we had the flow values again now we will take each and every closed junction separately for the consideration okay now the first set of closed junction will be a b and c similarly the next junction will be b c and d okay now this will be the two junctions or two closed uh, chambers okay now in the first set the flow is taking as 43 57 and 17 now we will mark here only sign as we had marked previously and in bd we will write the value as 20 and similarly in cd we will mark the value as 30 okay now we need to find again the pipe rq square and 2 rq pipe rq square and 2 rq similarly Pipe RQ square and two RQ. Okay. Now we will write the pipe here. That is AB, BC, and CA. Similarly, in this BD, DC, and CB. Okay. Now the clockwise flow is taken as positive, and anti-clockwise will be taken as negative. So for pipe AB, it will be positive. 
for pipe bc it will be positive and for pipe ac it will be negative similarly for bd it will be positive and rest other two are negative okay now we just write the values of rq square 2 into 57 square similarly 2 into 2 into 57 like this we will write all these value that is 1 into 17 square and 2 into 1 into 17 similarly 4 into 43 square similarly 2 into 4 into 43 now if we do the sum of these values then rq square will be equals to minus 609 and the 2rq will be equals to 604 now if we compute the delta q for the first then minus minus will be equals to plus and it will be equals to 609 upon 604 which will be equals to plus 1 okay now for the second set the rq square value will be written as 5 into 20 square and 2 into 5 into 20 similarly for dc it will be equals to minus 1 into 30 square and 2 into 1 into 30 similarly 1 into 17 square similarly 2 into 1 into 17 now if we do the sum of all these value then this value comes out as 811 and this value comes out as 294 now if you want to compute the delta q for the second diagram then it will be equals to 811 with minus sign divided by 294 it will be equals to minus 3 now we need to add this value then plus sign will be written here minus and this will be also plus now here this is positive and this is negative okay now we just add the modification factor here that is plus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 so it becomes 18 it becomes 42 that is minus and it becomes 58 now this 18 will be taken here as 18 and it will be of minus sign because the flow is anti-clockwise clear now we need to add the modification factor here that is minus 3 so we just write here as minus 3 minus 3 and minus 3 so this will be equals to 17 that is plus 17 it will be equals to minus 33 and it will be equals to minus 21 now in this way we need to solve this question till delta q in both the junctions that is in closed junction will not be equals to 0 now if you solve one step more you will get the final answer so i will just write the final values of this question the final discharges in each pipe and the final discharges will be like this we generally mark here as the all the pipes that is a b b c and c d now we just write the name that is a b c and d now we need to mark here the inclined pipe that is b c and the inflow that will be taken at junction a will be equals to 100 at junction b it will be taken as 20 it is already given in the question at junction d it will be equals to 50 and at junction c it will be equals to 30 now the final flow in each pipe will be equals to in ab it will be equals to 58 in ac it will be equals to 42 in bc it will be equals to 21 in bd it will be equals to 17 and in cd it will be equals to 33 now that will be the final flow in each pipe or final discharges in each pipe when delta q in each junction will be equals to 0 or each closed part will be 0 okay now that will be the final answer of this question that is flow in ab will be equals to 58 similarly 42 in ac similarly 21 in bc similarly bd 17 and cd 33 that will be the discharges in each pipe thank you very much student